Hi, I'm aware of my sin. I'm aware of his grace. Those were the words that came to me this morning in the Quaker Friends meeting. You never quite know what's going to happen in the hour. It's an hour of silence, is what I call the liturgy of silence. It's what's going on inside each person who's sitting in that meeting. Over the past 10 days, I've visited two Orthodox services, one in the monastery and one in a church in North London, one Russian and one, I don't know if it was Greek, the other. The influence of the liturgy called the Divine Liturgy seems to have had a lasting influence on a number of kinds. I think the sin thing, I'm aware of my sin, I'm aware of his grace, made me aware of sin because in the ceremony which is sung for the hour and a half that it is, on accompanied music, the worshipper is becomes mindful of their sin in order to receive the communion from Christ through his representative in the priest. So there was that. But yet I was aware that the grace of God is very present with sin or us being aware of our own sin. And that's kind of the subject of the, the blog for today. The other thing, though, was the liturgy of life that for me came from the notion of this divine liturgy. I like to observe ceremonies, religious ceremonies, even though I may not be a member of that particular group. But I think what I saw in the divine liturgy is a liturgy that we can have for life. From the point that we open our eyes in the morning to the point that we close our eyes in the evening, that we can see life and all the rituals and routines that we partake in, from getting washed to getting ready to doing our work to traveling to traveling home to reflecting. So I go into this week, tomorrow, and when I open my eyes, I'm going to think of this liturgy of life. Cheers.